Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Do you know 90% of machine learning models don't make it to production? Of course, there are multiple reasons. For example, it can be because of the accuracy of the model once it is developed. Maybe the accuracy is less or it can be because of the cost that it is taking for the organization from the point of development to deployment or it can also be because of the time it is taking from the time of proof of concept to the actual implementation of the model. Maybe there is a better model that is already available by the time this model is available. However, one of the main reasons why models don't make it to production is because of the lack of MLOps practices. That is, organization has a roadmap for the development of the model, but there is no strategy how this model has to be deployed continuously on each iteration to the unit platform or the staging platform or finally to the production environment. This is why MLOps is gaining a lot of significance over the past few years and I'm sure it has a bright future going ahead because MLOps is going to solve a major problem of the machine learning workflow. In today's video, we will take a look at what is MLOps and what are the best MLOps platforms that are available out there. Especially if you are learning MLOps in 2024, this video will help you identify the right platforms that you should take a look at. So please watch this video till the end. Now, let me give a very quick overview of what exactly is MLOps. Now, this is important to understand before we go to the best MLOps platforms. MLOps is designed and you know it came into existence on the principles of DevOps. So DevOps is basically for the traditional applications, traditional softwares, where DevOps unifies dev and operations. One of the core principle of DevOps is to implement CI CD. Of course, there are other core principles, but one of the core principle is to implement CI CD, which allows organizations or the developers to perform multiple iterations. That is, let's say there is a development team which is developing a calculator application. Very simple example. Now, if DevOps does not exist or the organization hasn't implemented DevOps, then every time a developer creates a new commit to the calculator application or every time they come up with a new change, that new change has to be manually built. The new change has to be manually tested and the new change has to be manually deployed. Now, this is going to take a lot of time, which will not allow the developer to perform multiple iterations or create multiple commits of the calculator application. Now, the CI CD, which is core principle of DevOps, automates all of this using continuous integration and continuous delivery, which will allow developers and increase the efficiency of the software development lifecycle because it automates the manual efforts in the software development lifecycle. Now, the same thing can be implemented to the ML workflow as well. So that's why MLOps is inspired or, you know, the core principle of MLOps is adopted from DevOps, where within the model, the ML workflow looks different. You know, if you look at software development lifecycle, it has stages like building of the application, of course, resource gathering, resource identification, uh, the high level design, low level design. After that, 
you need to build the traditional application right you need to test the application and the application has to be deployed application has to be monitored whereas if you look at the ml workflow it is different where within the ml workflow you have more stages not just building of the model you have to continuously train the model the model has to be trained and the model has to be deployed model has to be monitored and over the period what happens is there can be performance reduction in the model so again the model has to be retrained as well because when you add more amount of things to the model the accuracy of the model might reduce on the same data set that you have as well i'm not going into the detail of ml workflow but just understand the traditional software development life cycle looks different from the ml workflow because within the ml workflow you have more stages however the core principle of devops can be adopted can be improvised and that is called as ml ops now within ml ops ml ops is something which unifies machine learning with the operations effort and introduce something like continuous integration plus continuous training plus continuous deployment of the model using machine learning the goal is to reduce like i said 90 percentage of the models don't make it to the production by adopting ml ops practices this number can be significantly reduced this cannot be zero but it can be significantly reduced by following the ml ops practices i have a very good article here this is from the google cloud ml ops continuous delivery and automation pipelines in machine learning i will highly recommend everyone to go through this particular article i will put this in the documentation by following this you can gain a very good understanding of what exactly is ml ops and how it can be implemented within the organizations it says you know for data scientists and ml engineers who want to apply devops principles to ml systems that is if you want to implement devops principles and set up ml ops this article explains what exactly is ml ops level 0 that is complete manual ml workflow with almost zero ml ops implementation how would the system look like you know with data preparation model training evaluation training of the model model registry serving and prediction nothing is automated in the ml ops 110 but organization can initially move to ml ops level 1 by implementing the pipelines in traditional way you call ci cd pipelines if it's a devops thing here you call ml pipelines by introducing ml pipelines you can reach to the point of ml ops level 1 how it is explained in this article then you can implement ci cd along with the automation and you can reach to ml ops level 2 which is organization can move to a better stage of ml ops so again i will put this link in the description it talks about continuous integration of the models continuous delivery of the models continuous training of the models which is very good to learn if you are a ml ops aspirant now let's move to the main context of today's topic abhishek are there any good ml ops platforms for example if you are learning devops there is platform like gitlab which can perform automatic ci cd you can create ci cd with it you can attach your kubernetes runners typically you can automate the major part of your devops workflow or github actions or there are other devops platforms right you have azure devops best example is the azure devops abhishek are there anything like azure devops within machine learning yes i have come up with nine such 
ml ops platforms starting with ml flow so ml flow is a open source machine learning platform that is sorry machine learning operations platform which can make ml and you know it also has support to generative ai so it can make the entire process of machine learning workflow very simple it supports experiment training visualization generative ai models model registry and model serving it's completely open source where you can install ml flow within your organization within your system if you are learning ml ops you can also get it on your personal laptop it is one of the most preferred option out there it is completely open source so you can try it for free of cost so ml flow is good however when you want to get that into your organization you know organizations might not go with ml flow because of two reasons one is it's completely open source so you don't have direct support if you have any issues with ml flow you have to go to the github platform and you have to raise an issue and you need to wait for the support or some peer in the open source to respond to that and even if you want to get a bug fixed or if you want to get a new feature in it is going to take a lot of time so for that there is also a managed ml flow platform which is created by databricks so databricks is the one that also uh, they are the uh, founder or founders of ml flow so you know they also offer a managed ml flow platform so if you don't want to uh, deploy your own ml flow if you don't want to manage create infrastructure you can also go with a managed ml flow service that is provided by databricks both of them are almost the same you can consider it something like gcp and kubernetes you know kubernetes was contributed by google but they also have a managed kubernetes service which is gcp i mean gke google kubernetes in general right similarly if you want to go with open source one you can go with ml flow if you want a managed service where you don't want to manage the infrastructure you don't want to you need some support uh, for the ml flow you can go with managed ml flow that is provided by databricks this is the popular choice then you have aws sage maker so amazon sage maker is also a very popular building training and model deployment platform it supports the end to end ml ops life cycle again if you are in the aws ecosystem this is one such thing that you can definitely try out if your organization is already with aws you can adopt aws sage maker for the ml ops practices it supports typically the end to end ml flow i mean complete ml ops can be implemented using aws sage maker i'll also try to provide some references and links in the description along with what is ml ops by google cloud so that if you want to learn aws sage maker for free you can use the references resources that i have provided in the description then another popular choice which is provided by azure is the azure machine learning platform use an enterprise grade ai service for end to end machine learning life cycle so it automates different stages of machine learning life cycle and another good thing at least what i have tried is azure machine learning can be well integrated with ml flow so you can set up azure machine learning platform on your azure cloud and you can integrate that with ml flow for some pieces of ml flow so it's a very cool integration uh, where you can use both of the best tools out there to set up a complete ml ops solution for your organization and the other thing just like how aws has sage maker and how azure has azure machine learning platform 
Google Cloud also has something which is Vertex AI. So Vertex AI is also cool. But what I have noticed is if you compare the features of AWS SageMaker with Vertex AI, AWS SageMaker has some more flags checked, which is for MLOps platform if they don't want to go to any other solution, any other services. So AWS SageMaker is a complete solution, whereas Google Cloud Platform with the Vertex AI does not have some checks enabled. Then another popular choice is uh, TFX by TensorFlow. This is something that you can install, you can set up. It's TFS X, sorry, TFX is nothing but TensorFlow extended. You can use this and you can also automate your ML pipelines. They have very good documentation. TensorFlow is a popular choice for the machine learning. If you already have TensorFlow, you can integrate TFX and you can be completely in the TensorFlow ecosystem. Another one is Kubeflow, but this platform or Kubeflow is basically dependent on Kubernetes. So if your target platform is Kubernetes, then you can definitely go with Kubeflow. However, you have the challenge of deploying even the platform on Kubernetes. So you might see some scalability issues. You have to be really good with Kubernetes to get this platform for your enterprise on the Kubernetes cluster. Then there are other options like uh, Comet. I haven't explored this platform, but this is also another better option that is available out there. All the previous things that I've explained, MLflow, MLflow by Databricks, I've also explored AWS SageMaker. So I can tell you all of them have very good and rich features, but I haven't explored Comet ML and I haven't explored Metaflow as well. Metaflow is again open sourced by Netflix and it also has some very good documentation and they also promise to provide complete ML flow automation using ML pipelines data training. But I haven't explored the platform completely. So I cannot tell you if it is as good as AWS SageMaker and ML flow. So top three options from my analysis would be ML flow either MLflow directly or MLflow by Databricks. The second one would be AWS SageMaker because it has very rich features. Of course, it has a dependency dependency on Amazon, but still it's a very good uh, platform available out there for end-to-end -end MLOps. Then the other one is Azure Machine Learning, especially with its integration with MLflow. So these are the three popular options. Otherwise, there is Vertex AI, you have TFX, you have Kubeflow, there is Comet, there is Metaflow and other options as well. If I have missed something and if you feel there are other platforms which should have been covered and if they offer anything better than these platforms or something that I have to definitely go with, please let me know in the comment section. I will explore it and probably try to make a video on that in the coming days. One thing that I want to say is I will make more videos on AWS SageMaker as well as MLflow, something like end-to-end -end projects that we do for DevOps. Similarly, we will try to implement end-to-end -end MLOps on MLflow, open sourced one, and AWS SageMaker in the coming days. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Definitely check out the description section. There are some links which will help you learn MLOps. Thank you everyone. See you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.